Okay, I'm just gonna like rant for like two seconds. More like 60, but okay. Um, I'm 32 and I, dating is just like not, not it. And uh, I don't know what to say because like I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> All right, so long story short, men messaged me and like, I don't know what it is these days, but they're like sending me novels. Like I've talked to them before or know them or anything. Like, I don't know you. I don't know you. Oh, fucking truly annoying. And it's like, can I understand why the audacity is there when like, just because I have a pretty face doesn't mean that I think that you do. I am confused here. Like, I, I can't even insert the screenshot of, like, the man, what he sent me, because it's inappropriate. Like, men, do better! Wow. Uh, I was trying not to cackle laughing in the first 45 seconds of that. The woman with the beak nose really thinks that she's going to be getting anybody anytime soon. Listen, honey, if you can't read a damn message that somebody's sending to you, then uh, don't freaking bother. Don't bother. Maybe put down the phone, go do something much simpler. I don't know. I don't know what your problem is. Either way, that's enough from that one. Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope that you're doing well. Uh, we're going to get into the compilation today, being single moms. Ba -ba -ba boom was not surprised. Let's get to it. A little quick rant, y'all. Just what is it I love these quick rants. about a woman who has finally fallen in love with herself and is spiritually tapped in and is doing well professionally, has great relationships with her family, she's traveling, She's exercising, she's reading, taking on new hobbies. What is it about a woman like that that signals to other human beings to come into her life and give her mediocre effort and waste her time? What is it? This woman tried to do something interesting with her life. She picked up a few basic hobbies and now is telling people that <laughs> she doesn't want them in her life. Uh, I'm just, I'm not computing here. Usually you get hobbies to enjoy your downtime or to make new people. And I mean, book club is a big thing with women. I don't know if that's such a big thing anymore, but uh, the fact that she's like, no, leave me alone. Even if it's women, but with men? Oh, this kind of attitude is horrid, just like the first one. Because I've just literally, I've had it right up to here. Like, I'm serious. Right there, that's where I've had it too. Like, please, I love you and I mean it, but just leave me alone. Honestly, that's all. I Leave me alone. Thank you. Goodbye. When you're dating. Yeah, that is the exact kind of mentality you want going out there and dating in this world. And you know what? You're probably going to get what you want. People are going to leave you the hell alone. This woman's out there uh, recording in her van alone at night. Yeah, well, let's leave that one alone. What does this one have to say? As a single mom and a man asks, Oh, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing today? When you show that you're putting your children as a priority, like, oh, I'm taking my daughter to the museum. We've been learning about, um, you know, uh, art. I don't know. <laughs> we've, whatever. We've been learning about animals. We're going to the zoo this weekend. Like, that kind of stuff is super attractive and a man is going to look at that and be like, wow, she really cares about her kids. Like, wow, I might, you know, think about actually creating a family with this woman. I Imagine having a child and actually caring about it, you know, uh, developing its interests, actually spending some time with it. Like what? 
I, my brain is just rotting listening to this one. Um, wow, man. Uh, you put in the minimal effort to be a parent. Congratulations. No, men are running away from single mothers. You know, I might want to have kids with her too because she's just such a good mother to her own children. So, which should be an expectation. Ugh. Well, yes, ladies, it's just really important for you to be prioritizing your children. If you're married, well, any woman that has children or any woman that is going to be a mother, you know, I think that this information is just super helpful. Um, but like I said, if you are a single mom and you're looking to date, this is going to boost your, your ranking like tremendously, like a hundred points because you're such a good mom. Trust me. Are you and your wife? No, it won't. I mean, I think that any man that's choosing to come into a single mother's life is, uh, well, kind of stupid but uh to be real uh yeah you should be expected to take good care of your child if you've had a child why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with he wasn't good enough for me well then that's your okay so what i need you to understand on the open dating market you come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you. To us, to men like myself, to men with good sense, that would say she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her, a baby. Sorry, ma'am, don't get upset because- I agree with that. But if you agree with it, then understand- I agree there's with a that reason. Part, but I also wanna say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in yes, my life because well yeah you oh yeah you are but you, you are stop no, yeah you are but we don't have to <laughs> but understand some listen 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 just... listen listen <laughs> you are but the world does not owe you understanding nope and the world is definitely not fair um yeah rest in peace kevin samuels guy keeps on laying down good advice but eh, we're missing more and more people out there <laughs> like him anyways Let's get back to it. Uh, boom. Let's do it. And are the ones who are really emotional and can't handle difference of opinions. I feel like, uh, of all things, we're much more mature in, in that sense. You know, we don't have these things called icks. I mean, when I say this, men are the real bitches in life. <laughs> They like to act like women are so emotional, but men are the ones who clearly look like they're always in the period. Like your emotions last within 24 hour cycle, bro. Shut up, you hormonal bitch. No, for real, for real, I'll tell you why I'm even saying this because this guy who I did view highly of, and I still think he's a different kind of guy, just not for me, honestly, because the thing is, is like, Oh my lord, it, the bottom caption says God will test you to see if you're gonna settle for less than what you deserve instead of waiting patiently for better. I'm surprised somebody's even giving you the damn time of day, you're rude as hell. i truly rather be alone and single than deal with people who, mis who are like misunderstanding me all the time. And that bothers me like to my core because I truly believe that in life all we have is understanding and accepting. And this man literally trying to tell me in the middle of a conversation be like, it's turning me off the way that you're not listening. Boy, bye. I don't give a fuck. But this was his response, okay? I'm gonna show you. So yeah, this is... This woman couldn't take the time to listen to a man who likely will very rarely ever show his emotions and just decided to say, screw you, I'm done. Like, imagine that. How many times have you sat down and listened to a woman prattle on about something that really doesn't matter, but <laughs> you, you're like, you nod your head, mm -hmm, yeah, 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 all right. Um, Men need to start doing that a bit more, not giving women like this a chance. Hopefully this has given you enough time to read this, or she'll read it out, I'm guessing.
Feels like he decided to uh, message me back in response to my message of ending things. Um, yeah, and I thought that God was really teaching me a lesson of trying to open my heart up, you know, and learn to forgive people because I'm kind of a cold, attached ass bitch myself. So I'm kind of. It says, just do me a favor and don't circle back again. I'm too considerate to tell you no. Good night. Man, why you even wasted your time? If she ended the date earlier or something, just move on. Just move on, block her. You know, it uh, it sucks to not be heard when you're dating or in a relationship. Uh, scratch that, not dating. If you're not in a relationship, you're not telling women about your emotions. <laughs> Let's be real, they don't care. Um, but yeah, yikes. Yikes, man. I'm just like, fuck you, moving on to the next. And at this point in life, I'm like, well, you know, maybe I have to learn to be forgiven and understand that people do make mistakes or people are not exactly how. No, 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 no. The thing is, I'm very intuitive. And I can just see, like, sure if anything were to transpire in an actual relationship with this man, furthermore, I just can't. I wouldn't be happy because he also had, like, certain things that just were red flags. And, man, like, I don't have no time for fucking checking out for red flags or red flag anymore. I'm not colorblind, man. I'm just I just have a stigma to that. That's it. So that's it. I'm just done. But anyway, that's my rap. So thank you for listening if you have watched it. But yeah, also if you like wanna follow me for more like life advice and stuff that's not dating, go ahead and check my page out. Uh no, we will not be doing that. So this woman decided to stop seeing a man because he got emotional with her. Yet she doesn't have the emotional capacity to um, deal with this text message. Really not somebody that you should be following. Uh, you know, the blind leading the blind. Either way, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. I appreciate you listening to me for 12 minutes. Uh, like the video if you've gotten this far. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, do me a huge favor, uh, check out Locke's content. We've been chatting a lot more recently, and he's a great guy, and uh, he's got a lot of uh, perspectives that uh, I know he wishes he could talk about on his channel, but hey, that's YouTube. Um, all right, well, I'll catch you in the next one. Always do your due diligence if you're going to be uh, out here dating single mothers, and peace.